Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are actually going to dye some seats. Uh, we're going to be using a product that I've never used before. Uh, it is called Fabrico. You uh, just get it right off of uh, Amazon. I think it's like 20 bucks. It's real, it's real affordable. Uh, I've, the reason why I'm using Fabrico today, uh, one, I've never used it. I, I wanted to try something new. I've used the RIT dye. Uh, I like the RIT dye, but the RIT dye just doesn't last as long. Uh, I've used the dupe color vinyl and fabric paint. That stuff's pretty good, but it kind of makes it makes the seat a little hard. Like uh, it makes the fabric a little hard if you use it too uh, too liberally. And uh, I've also used the uh, the SEM quality paint or the uh, paint for fabric, and that's that's really good stuff. But uh, let me show you how we're going to do this today, and uh, hopefully you like the results. All right, as you can see here, uh, we are taking a water bottle and we are just dampening the seat seat. Uh, the instructions do say we want to dampen the seats. So we're just damping, dampening them, uh, not getting them soaked, but just uh, a nice damping. Uh, we already taped off the back of the seat where we don't want any of the, uh, we don't want any of the paint. Um, the fabric dye. We don't want to leave fabric dye there. Uh, we're going ahead and going around all the edges first and go doing the bottom. Uh, we're using a brush. Uh, you can see that the brush where we're just kind of, uh, just to find a, a little first coat, a light coat with a brush, uh, trying to get as much in there as possible. Um, it does say you can use a brush or a sponge, uh, anything you really want to go ahead and apply this uh, but what I have found is that I liked using a brush to apply the third the first coat and then I go ahead later and I grab a microfiber towel and I really work it into all the grooves um, I'm trying to get into every every nook and cranny every crevice uh, that that's that's in the seats there <clears throat> so also uh, I've found that if you're doing anything other than the center part of these seats, uh, you're going to need more than one bottom. Uh, there's, there's no doubt about it. Uh, I did, it took the entire bottom to do just the center of these seats. Yeah. If you were going to do the whole seat, I would recommend getting two bottoms. If you're going to do a bench seat, I would recommend getting four bottoms. Uh, this stuff, uh, it, it, it's kind of thick. So it, it applies very thick. Uh, uh, I've used the right dye. I've used uh, the SEM uh, interior paint. I've used the Duke and color paint. Uh, I've used them all. But I, I try. I wanted to try this fabric coat uh, because the interior of my duster is green, and I wanted to make the make this kind of match. Uh, so this is the only one that offered this color. Yeah, I'm just really working it in here. Uh, this is where you see I am using the microfiber uh, cloth, and I'm just working it into every every nook and cranny into these into the seats, the back of the seats, behind the seats. Uh, fabric coat also says that if you get it on a, a surface that you're not wanting it on, if you immediately take water and rag and wipe it off, it, it comes right off, and it definitely does, for sure. All right, so now we're here. The, the next day, everything is dry to the touch. It's not hard. It came out fantastic. I actually really like the color. I don't. Uh, I don't think I need a second coat <clears throat> or more more dye on it. Uh, I achieved the color that I was looking for. Uh, I, I do recommend this product. Uh, if you if you subscribe, I'll be able to uh, do a review in about a month or so, uh, just to show you how it holds up. Um, so I think that that uh, everything went really well. I do recommend this product. Um, I I'm not sponsored or anything, obviously. So all right. 
Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned. Thanks guys.